In this video, we're going to solve the error that you get when you're using the image component from Next.js. It will say something like invalid source prop, uh, host name is not configured under images in your next config file. So the reason this happens is when you're using an external URL for your image component, so your image is not in your local file system, it's not in the public folder, it's somewhere else on the internet, you're using an external URL and in Next.js there is some extra security around this. So you need to go into your next config file and in here we can solve this by, well, two ways actually. You can just write images and then here you can say domains, basically the domains from which images can be served. So here uh, Copilot actually already suggested for me. It actually gives me two, but here in this case I'm using an unsplash image. Um, so here if I do this and now refresh, now sometimes the dev server will actually shut down when you change the next config file. So I'm checking here. Yeah, yeah. so that's what happens here too. So here I'm going to restart the uh, dev server and let's see if, the, if that solves the issue. So let's see, uh, I'm going to refresh here. It can take a couple of seconds, but this is one of the ways of fixing it. I'll show you uh, another way because sometimes you need to work with the HTTPS or uh, or uh, other parts of the of the URL. Yeah, so now you can see my image has loaded. Now, if you want some more fine-grained control over this, what you can also do instead of domains, you can also say remote patterns. And then here we have an array and then an object. And here you, can, you have some more fine-grained control. So you can say the protocol that you want to accept, well, only images that are loaded with HTTPS and the host name, and that can be that image that images.unsplash.com. And, and there are also other things here like port, but usually this is what you want. Now, what if you just wanna allow all uh, domains essentially, or host names? You can actually have two uh, stars here. And if you do this, um, you will basically allow all, uh, all domains, all host names. All right, so this is for remote images. So if you, if you have an external URL, now what if you don't have an external URL? Ideally, actually, you have an image locally here in your file system. So here I added an image here to the public uh, folder. And if you wanna, if you want, you can actually just download this and just put it in your public folder. Um, and I'll, there's some other benefits so, that come with that. So then you have to import that image. So here it's the it's remote dev from uh, let's see from the public folder. So that's, that's, I think it's two folders up public. And then it's the remote dev.png file. So if you, Im you can import an image like this, and then here you get a reference to that image. And that's what you can provide as a source then. Right. So make sure you use curly braces. So now, and this is not a card, this is actually an image from my uh, professional JavaScript course. Highly recommend check it out. Link is in the description. But now if I save here and we're waiting for it to refresh, which it doesn't, right? So here again, make sure you check the dev server to make sure it's running because for some reason it's shutting down sometimes when you're changing stuff here. Um, or I think it was still from changing the next config file. But now let's see if this works. Now the advantage of doing it this way is that you don't have to provide the width and height properties yourself, right? So Next.js can automatically uh, use that for you and you, it will still be done for you because that's necessary to prevent uh, layout from shifting when you load the page. Uh, but let's see if this works. So I'm going to refresh and let's see. And now, of course, you also don't need to provide uh, anything in the next config. Right. So let's see. It works. Right. So this image is loaded, but I haven't, I haven't configured anything in my next config file. It's a local image. So there, you know, there's no security issue with, with, uh, or that you would have with an external image. So uh, ideally you can have all your images here locally and uh, just import it like this. All right, so hopefully this fixed your issue. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.